Welcome to this feature on microRNA in situ hybridization, where we'll present stunning scientific results made possible by Exacon's Mercury LNA probes. See the technique used in a range of different sample types and applications, and how we used it in cancer diagnostics. MicroRNAs are too short for conventional DNA probes to be effective. By incorporating LNA, or locked nucleic acid, into the probe, the affinity for its target is dramatically increased, resulting in more stable duplexes. DNA and RNA probes are unable to detect microRNAs in whole mount zebrafish. With LNA probes, on the other hand, they are easily detected. LNA probes provide the sensitivity and specificity needed to detect tissue-specific microRNAs. These images are part of a complete catalog of images showing the temporal and spatial expression patterns of more than 100 conserved microRNAs in zebrafish embryos. Here, a microRNA specific for skeletal muscle cells is detected in a chick embryo. LNA probes can also be used for monitoring microRNA expression over time. Here, the expression of MIR1 is shown for four different developmental stages in chicken. MicroRNAs can even be detected with high sensitivity in formalin-fixed paraffin-embedded samples. Fluorescent in situ hybridization can also be used with LNA probes, as seen here where MIR-138 is detected in a brain section from mouse. LNA probes are an excellent choice for monitoring microRNA expression in single cells. Here, MIR-154 is detected in bone marrow cells from a leukemia patient. Exacon's knowledge of the regulatory role of microRNAs has driven the launch of our diagnostics division. In December 2008, we launched our first product, a test for colon cancer recurrence based on microRNA in situ hybridization. In this image, a microRNA is used as a biomarker for breast cancer. Learn more about our mercury LNA microRNA detection probes and other microRNA products at exacon.com.